So I'm going to be updating my slow motion time heist map with new characters. The prerequisites you need for this is Auto Rigger Pro for Blender, which is 40 bucks, but definitely worth it. And what characters you want. So in this case, I'm using the Polygon Heist Pack, which has the characters that I want to put in my map. So here is my map. And we can see the characters that come with the pack. I want to do three characters per team. They'll be like FBI on counter-terrorist and the robbers on terrorist. So I think I'm going to start off with the SWAT guy, FBI man, and female FBI. So I'm going to export these characters to to a folder then for robbers let's get guy with just a vest this guy and this guy asset actions export and we'll get these guys exported now if you'll notice in this pack they come bald so we're gonna want some hats or something to go with them Let's do chicken, pan, ooh, chicken, panda, and clown. So after we export them, we're going to open up a new Blender file. All right, delete your cube. You're going to want to go to File, Import, FBX, whatever you have. Um, so in this case, we're going to start with uh, SWAT. We'll start with SWAT guy. import FBX. Now this is the broken bones that we want to get rid of. So go ahead and select those and delete them and it'll change the shape. After this, I happen to know for these models what the correct rotation and scaling is for Pavlov. So for me, those are the values that get this the right scale. If you don't know the right scale, you can import the mannequin, the UE4 mannequin, um, from here, the same way we got the characters out, export the mannequin, and then scale everything to him. So we have our guy. Now we're gonna wanna go to edit mode and select everything with A, and go to Mesh, Clean Up, Merge by Distance. And if you'll notice, this just merged like 5,000 vertices. The models that I'm using aren't the best. I'm not sure if Unreal does that or what. After we merge, we're going to go ahead and go to File, Export, FBX, and name him something. And then we're done with him. We're going to want to go ahead and do this for every character that we want in the map. Now, if you'll notice, the robbers don't have a back of the head. So we're going to need to do something about that. 
go to import and I have some hats. We'll cover them up with a hat. There, that looks about right. All right, now that we have the SWAT, the three robbers, and the two FBI's, we're gonna go ahead and open up the base blend file. Now this will just have the skeleton in here all we're going to want to do is go to import FBX and we'll start with the female FBI person. That looks about right. We're going to click on the skeleton, hit match to rig. It'll take a second. After it binds, go to object mode over in the top left, then go to skin. Click on the mesh first and then shift click on one of these wire outline things and then hit bind. This will take a second. After it's bound you can kind of verify that it works by going to pose mode. Then you can hit G and kind of move it around and see that it's bound. All right, so we have our mesh. Now we need to export it. Go ahead to Auto Rig Export, Export FBX. Then over in the left here, we're going to want to do Unreal Engine, Humanoid. And then down here in the options, hit Rename, Add IK Bones, and the Mannequin one. Then rename it to what you want. Export it. Now don't save this. Go ahead and close, open up the base blend file, and we're gonna have to do this for each character. Two hours later. All right, that was the last guy to export. Now that you have everyone exported, you can go ahead and open up Unreal. Gonna want to go to your UGC folder and create a custom player, custom character, whatever you want to call it, folder. And then under map tools, we want to snag examples, player skin table, move that over there. Proxies, we want global info and player proxy. And that's it from there. So go ahead and drag and drop your FBX in. Don't mess with any of these settings. Uh, just hit import and it should work. Now you'll notice my material's all messed up. You can fix this by opening up the person and setting it to what it should be. And you can go ahead and delete these guys. You don't need those. All right, and pro tip about Pavlov. If you set roughness to one, it's a lot more optimized or something. I don't really understand it, but it, mess it makes the shader complexity better instead of red. See, now it's green. Isn't that nice? All right, back to players. Now that you have all your skeletal meshes inside your player folder, you can go ahead and open up the skin table, hit the plus to make a new row, and then we'll start with FBI. We'll call them FBI1. 
call them FBI2 and SWAT1. And for robbers, we'll do robber1. Robber two and there's robber three. All right, and then within this as well, you can set gloves. So I'm going to set good guys to NATO, bad guys to Russian. Save that, close that. Next, in global info, you're going to want to make sure that this skin table is the one that's selected. And if you're not using custom items, you can go ahead and clear that. Compile and save that. Then you're going to want to find your game logic in your level. And if you go down to details, you want global info as that, player proxy as that, player info class you don't need for custom players. Go ahead and open up your player proxy example. Now, what I want to do is have three skins, the three FBI and the three robbers, randomly chosen based on what team they are. So to do that, we're going to do switch has authority, then a delay because it takes a second to load in. So we'll just add that there. And we'll get the player status by pawn. Coming off of the pawn, we need the pawn, so let's get the pawn. And then we'll do that, break it up, and I'm going to move this out of the way of the API. So it's based off of team ID, and I'm pretty sure, oh shoot, is it, hold on, let me check. So, uh, it's in the spawn. All right, so zero is blue team and one is red team. So if it's zero, it's blue team. So we're going to want a branch. And then if it is zero, then they're counter terrorist, the blue team. So if that's true, we want to set the player skin to the good guys. Now, you, if I had one, I could just type in the name here. But since I have three that I want to choose from, I'm going to select them from a list. And I'm just going to do um, like a random integer in range. I think I have three options, so I'll do that. Three, so this will basically pick a random number and it'll fill the player skin with a random name. Currently they're set to none. Now you want to get this exact. So we'll do FBI1. FBI 2 and SWAT 1. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Yep. Alright, that is the good guys. Now for the bad guys, I'm going to copy and paste it there. And then if this condition is false, that means they're bad. 
So I'm going to change this to robber1, robber2, robber3. And that should be it. Now in VR, let's load up a game. All right, we're in the map. Now it can be hard to like see yourself, but one trick is if you suicide, you can verify that the player model is how it's supposed to look. Looks good, dead panda person, and that's all there is to it.